Hola amigos, welcome to Destination Unknown Travel. Today I'm going to focus on Bucerias itself, and that's going to include restaurants, bars, groceries, sites, and tourist attractions. This is not meant to be the be all and end all of what Bucerias has to offer, but does cover what we did specifically and things that we would have done differently. This is a follow up to the previous Bucerias video that I did. In there, I talked about travel tips, specifically about Puerto Vallarta, the airport Shark Tank, taxis, and a tour of the condo on the beach. So if that's what you're looking for, go back and watch that video. All right, let's go. Bucerias is about half hour north of the Puerto Vallarta airport. Our home base was a rented condo at the Torre Agua Marina, and we explored this area of Bucerias, except for one day, we walked all the way down to the grocery store. So let's start there. Let's show you where we got groceries from. Our main grocery shop was at La Comer, which is a 40 minute walk away. Now we did walk there, you should not. Just grab a bus or take a taxi. There is a closer store nearby, but we we're told it is severely understaffed, so we didn't even try it. There's also smaller corner stores which will sell you eggs like this in this fancy egg carton. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. There's a great meat market nearby. Not only do they have a fantastic selection of meat, but they have a weird way of doing a transaction. First you stand in line and wait for the counter person to serve you. They'll give you a tag of what you've ordered. Then you go to this lineup and pay for it here. And lastly, you stand in this lineup, present your receipt, and then collect your purchases. <laughs> we asked for four pieces for chicken breasts and well, apparently we bought three kilograms. <laughs> so yeah, we bought $30 worth of chicken. Um, $3, 30. Huh? 30, yeah, $30 yeah. worth like of chicken, which was just supposed to be for like maybe a couple nights. So we have a lot of chicken. I guess we'll be giving it to our neighbors. So now that we have food, we've got meals taken care of and we can make margaritas. Now we're not foodies by any means and we're happy with just a fish taco and a Corona, but Bucerias has a ton of restaurants to choose from. And finished result. So here are the restaurants that we went to when we weren't either out on a tour or making stuff at home. So it was just vanilla ice cream with a shot of espresso on top of it. It's called an affagato. Mr. Santana. And Mr. Santana, which is half a block from our condo, I chose a taco over a Nutella pancake. I chose wrong. So we are on Cairns on the beach. Oh, there's horses. All right, that's how we do it. You know what's really nice? I don't want you to show me with my bad hair. Your hair looks beautiful. It's not. It you know looks really nice. It's 9 o'clock at night, April 1st, at April Fool's Day, which is over now. We're sitting on the beach, 9 o'clock, and we're just shorts and t-shirt. Although you do have a jacket on. <laughs> And your hands are cold. Yes. Where are we at? We are at Stella. Yeah. At Do at Dutos. We are at at Dutos, enjoying a sangria, <laughs> sangria, and the Miami Vice. Cheers. Cheers. So today is day three. We're gonna go walk around Bucerias, do a little bit of shopping, check out the town. Right up from our hotels at the end there. Our condo is just a couple blocks from the center of Bucerias, which means this area has a lot of tour shops. And yes, once you hit the marketplace, there are a lot of repetition of the tacky tour souvenirs. The key, of course, is to keep your eyes peeled because there are hidden gems everywhere. Chantel picked up a purple wrap and I found a really nice shirt. Remember, bartering is the key here. If you like this video, please subscribe. It really does help. Hi, baby. So? This was obviously one of the first time that this kid has made a mango tree because he took forever and even missed a spot. The next time you're in Bucerias, see if he's still here. Maybe by then he'll be a master mango maker. Bueno, uh, es mango. Okay. So there's our future place, right at the very top, right up in there. That's where we're going to live. We're going to sell our places, both our places, sell our cars, everything, and we still won't have enough to pay for it. Yeah, no. 
No, Bucerias is not cheap. The restaurant meals will set you back about $20 to $25, which is on par of what you would pay at home. Hola. Hola. So, if you're making a comparison between all-inclusive and just a condo, you need to keep that in mind. And don't forget about your drinks. <laughs> la izquierda, u a la derecha. La izquierda, left, a la derecha. La derecha, right. He wants that one? Yeah, he wants one of those. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Main town square is here. The town square consists of a church, an open air area, the Bucerias sign, and of course the beach. So here's what I found from this town with 16,000 residents. All the tours, well most of them, are old. I remember walking around our first night going past an open air restaurant and I noticed all the gray hairs in there. Are there younger tourists there with their kids? Yeah there is, but by and large the majority are old. Which is really weird because Bucerias has got a great vibe and it's got a great oh, night life. that's what you're talking about, right? They have live music and stuff. Show us where our hotel is. Oh my gosh, <laughs> now you're testing me. Okay, move your hand down. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, move your hand down. Down right there. Morales, 32. Okay. Yeah, we're, uh, we're staying right on the corner here. Oh, this is nice. I like this. Yeah, we saw this one. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Hola. And here we back at the beach. The Sierra sign. The Ox is like our idea of 7-Eleven. So you want to go to Karen's? Sure. Okay. So we're going to Karen's. Karen's is down this way. Oh. That tree's like crooked. <laughs> We missed that one every Thursday. Oh, that looks like a cool place, the Bunker Beach House. We have to check that one out later. So in America? So up this road here is a Luna Luna restaurant, and here you're going to find a ton of huge iguanas. Make sure you check this place out. Oh, 
yeah. And lastly, there's a night scene in Pucerias. The live music scene is absolutely thriving here. And there is Ozzy's. That's where we went our first night. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.